but my question today is, uh, given that if you examine all sides of the media spectrum, I'm a very big fan of your show, by the way, I've watched almost all of it. Oh, thank you. Um, if you. If you do like psychoanalysis, if you do nonverbal and verbal analysis of both sides, if you look at um, uh, body language, if you, if you look at historical context of everything that they're doing, and you expose the left, you expose the right, you expose the center, why do all of them say they don't have it but they do, and it's been proven by everybody, and they just blatantly throw it out like... What is it? Sorry, they don't um, have... Just hypocrisy or, or an extreme bias. Well, why, well, why when, is everybody biased? I mean, I think... No, that, no, no, like, why, why is it that when it's shown and it's proven by hundreds yeah. of people, it's just, they just can't deal with it? Well, I, I think that for a lot of people who are in the so-called mainstream media, people who consider themselves objective journalists at CNN, if you're brought up in a culture of, of, of the media where you are told that that's your job, then you tend to get into a mindset where you think you're doing your job. I mean, we all think we do our jobs on a daily basis. If somebody told you your job is to be objective about the, the matter that's directly in front of you, it's very difficult to live with a cognitive dissonance that says, I am politically of one side, but I'm going to put that to the side in order for me to pursue this objective analysis of the issue in front of me. Uh, and I think that if you go to J school, right, if you go to, which is where a lot of the people from CNN and New York Times come from, and you're told that your political point of view is irrelevant to your reporting, but the, all the people who surround you think the way you do, you've never actually seen anybody. It's a, like a strange breed at the zoo. You've never actually seen another political point of view. You don't even know that you're biased when you are. So I'm going to attribute a lot of this to ignorance, not malevolence. And we on the right have a tendency to say, you know you're biased, but you won't say you're biased. And that's true for some people, like George Stephanopoulos, right? He's on the Clinton campaign. Obviously, he's biased. But for people, you know, like Maggie Haberman at the New York Times, maybe she's biased to the left because she hangs out in lefty circles, and it never occurs to her that she's infusing her stories with bias. So I, I you know, I tend to try and avoid, if I can, attributing nasty intent to people with whom I disagree, because I think everybody's trying to do their best, or at least most people are trying to do their best, uh, and they just come up short.